In this lesson, we'll be looking at box method solving. Our objectives are to understand solving and undoing, to understand variables, and to understand equations. Our vocabulary is variable, unknown number in a math problem. Undo, opposite operation to get rid of a number. Equation, two expressions that equal to each other. And solve, using undoing equations to determine what a variable is. First, we need to understand what box method solving is exactly. It's really just an organizational tool to help us find out what a variable could be if we solve for it. So our variable will go in the top, and then we'll have equals, and our end result will end up right here. So we'll have, say, x equals some number here. Um, what we'll do is we'll first look at the variable and determine the order of operations that are being shown in our equation then we will transfer to our opposites in the middle column and then we will start with our end result of the equation and we'll work backwards through the, pro through the opposites to get where the variable started at. So here I have two basic equations that we'll look at. We'll start here on the left. And we have 2 times the uh, difference of 3 times x and 4 plus 5 equals 33. Well, our first thing that we're doing to x, we want to focus on our variable. The first thing that we'd have to do to it based off the order of operations is we'd have to multiply by 3. So that's going to be our first um, situation here. After we've multiplied by 3, we want to subtract the 4. So that's going to be second here. After we've done the math inside this parentheses, we have multiplication by 2 and adding 5 left. So the multiplication by 2 would be next. And then we have adding 5 at the end. Basically, we went through and determined what would be, if we knew what x was, what would we do to it first? Now what we do is we put in all our opposites in the middle column here. So the opposite of timesing by 3 is dividing by 3. The opposite of subtracting 4 is adding 4. Opposite of timesing by 2 is divide by 2. The opposite of adding 5 is to subtract 5. This right column is going to work um, from the bottom up, and we're going to start with our 33. Now, one of the things that we have to deal with is we're always starting with this right column. So this problem is actually saying 33 minus 5. So 33 minus 5 will give us 28. Then we take 28 divided by 2, which will give us 14. Then we'll take 14 plus 4, which will give us 18, and 18 divided by 3, which will give us 6. So x is 6 in this situation. Our next version is for q. We want to solve this one for q because that's our unknown. So the first thing that we would do to q is we would times by 2. Then, because it's on top of the division bar here, we would have to add 11. We would then have one number on top. We would divide by 5. And lastly here, we've got to subtract 8, which leaves our opposites in the middle as being divide by 2 minus 11 divide, or times 5 this time and add 8 here. And then we work backwards through these with our starting answer of negative 7. So negative 7 plus 8 will give us positive 1. Positive 1 times 5 would give us 5. 
5 minus 11 would give us negative 6. And negative 6 divided by 2 would give us negative 3. So Q started as negative 3. A version of this that can be a little bit more difficult is if we have multiple variables. So in this case, we want to solve for y. We want to get y by itself. So the first thing that we're doing to y in this problem is we're multiplying by 3. The second thing that we're doing to this is, since we're just focusing on y, we look at the 2x as already combined. We don't, we're not worried about them as two separate things. So this is times by 3, then we would take that and we would add 2x to it. Our opposites then are to divide by 3 and subtract 2x. And we're going to start with a value of 9. So 9 minus 2x is 9 minus 2x. Since we don't know what x is, we can't do anything more with this. Then we want to divide by 3, but we want to do the subtraction first. So we've got to go back to what we did for the number tricks and make a big division bar with the 3 on the bottom. So in this case, y equals 9 minus 2x over 3. All right, if there are any questions or things that you didn't understand in this concept, please rewind, watch again, so that you can um, bring any questions and further your knowledge. Thank you.